हेलो चिल्ड्रन गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू चैप्टर नंबर टू न्यूट्रिशंस इन एनिमल स्टैंडर्ड सेवन नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज स्टमक स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइंस ऑब्जॉर्ब ऑब्जॉर्ब इन द स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइंस एंड लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन नाउ फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज स्टमक द स्टमक इज थिक वर्ल्ड बैग इट सेफ इज लाइक फ्लैट एंड यू एंड इट इज द वाइडेस्ट ऑफ द अल्टीमेट्री कैनल्स the inner lining of the stomach secretes mucus hydrochloric acid and digestive juice its stomach is receive food from the food pipe at one end and opens into the small intestines and at the others in a lining of the stomach secret mucus mucus protect the lining of the stomach and hydrochloric acid kills many bacteria that enter along with the food and make the medium in the stomach acidic and helps the digestive juices to act next digestive juices break down the proteins into into simpler substance okay next the location of the stomach in the human body stomach is there it is a thick walled bag it shape like a flattened u and it is the widest part of the ultimately canals yes now is it like u yes okay next point is small intestines the small intestines is highly coiled and is about 7.5 meters long it receives the secretions from the livers and the pancreases beside its walls also secrete juices the carbohydrate get broken into simple sugars such as glucose fat into fatty acids and glycerols and proteins into amino acid now first small intestine is highly coiled and it's about 7.5 meter long long receive the secretion from the liver and pancreases the first one is the liver first one is a liver it is a reddish brown gland situated in the upper part of the adom on the right side it is the largest gland in the body it secretes bile juice that is stored in a sac called gallbladder the bile plays an important role in the digestion of the fat bile is play the important role in the digestion digestions of the fat next is a pancreases pancreases is a large cream color gland located just below the stomach pancreatic juice act on carbohydrate fats and proteins and change into simpler form next next carbohydrate get into simple sugars such as um, glucose fat into fatty acid and glycerols in protein into amino acid the partly digest food now reach the lower part of the small intestines where the intestinal juice and central juice complete the digestions of all components of the food okay next point is absorptions in the small intestine 
the digested food can now pass into the blood vessels in the wall of the intestines this process is called absorption the inner walls of the small intestines have thousands of figures like outgrowths they are called valleys okay first absorption absorptions the primary functions of the small intestines in the absorptions of nutrients and minerals found in the food in digest food small intestines is uh, digest the food to through uh, passes blood vessels in the wall of the intestines this process is called uh, absorptions valleys next is a valleys micro valleys is to increase the amount of the surface area available for the absorption of nutrients the valleys increase the surface area for absorption of the digested food each valleys has network of thin and small blood vessels close to its surface the surface of the valley absorbs digested food materials okay the absorptions in the small intestines the absorbed substances are transported via blood vessels to different organs of the body where they are used to build complex substances such as the protein proteins requirement by the body this is called assimilations assimilations it's move of digest food molecules into the cells of the body where they are used for example glucose is used in respirations in to provide energy and amino acids are used to build new proteins okay in the cell glucose break down with the help of oxygen into carbon dioxide and water and release uh, energy is released then food that remains undigested and unobserved enter into the large intestine okay this point is large intestines large intestine is wider and shorter than small intestine it is about 1.5 meters in length its functions is to be uh, is to absorb water and some salts from the undigested food material the physical matter is removed through the anus from time to time this process is called injections the first point is large intestine it is the much broader than the small intestines and take a much straighter straighter path through your belly or adoms the purpose of the large intestines is absorb water and salt from the materials and that, that has not been digested as food and get rid of any waste product left over this is the work of the large intestine next is injections injection is the act or process of dividing or discharging undigested food as a feces to inject means to discharge undigested materials or food next is physical feces are the solid or semi solid remains of food that that could not be digested in the small intestine and the physical matters removed through the anus from the time to time the remain waste passes into rectum and remain remains there as a semi solid phases okay this is the work of the large intestine okay